Well, that would be the Gulf of Mexico. Here on Padre Island, just outside of Corpus Christi. Um, the National Wildlife Refuge. I'm parked, I don't know, about seven miles up there somewhere. We took a bike ride down the beach. Came down here about seven miles or so. Goes another, I don't know, 10. But it all looks the same. Everybody's camped up here. The first mile or so, about 20 of us. And then it's uh, desolate, except for the fishermen. There's fishermen, I don't know, every half mile or so. They're just out here for the day. <laughs> out in their four-wheel drives. Wanted to take a ride down here, but it's all kind of the same. So, I guess I'll head back. Stopped here at this uh, railroad tie, place to sit down, eat a little lunch. Mike does pretty good on the sand. It's trying to stay in the uh, harder stuff next to the water. Not too bad. All right, let's uh, head on back, I guess. Maybe I'll show you what it looks like as we uh, get closer to all the campers. We're a little less than a mile from the entrance. There's about five campers behind us, stretched out over a mile. And then right up here next to the entrance is where uh, all the rest of the campers are, including me. Did not want to come too far down here. No reason to, really. But uh, I thought I'd show you what it looks like here at the entrance where everybody's camping at. The sand up here is really pretty firm. You get farther towards the dunes and it's a little sandier. You gotta be careful. I'm parked up here on the left. I think the second or third vehicle. You can see where I'm camped right here on the left. Let's go down to the entrance. It's only another 200 yards or so. And I'll show you what the entrance of this place looks like. As you can see, there's uh, dumpsters on here on the right and some pit toilets on the left. And we're back on the pavement. Just a small little gift shop. Info, but 
cool little shop. Yeah, coming up to the launch facilities here. There is definitely a uh, booster stage on stage zero on the platform and not sure if that's just a something on the test stand or if that's another for the rocket garden. God, those things are huge. I don't know if you can see it yet, but this is Gateway to Mars. And I'm not sure if that Starship is uh, on the test stand. Yeah, I think it is. And I can see Hoppy, the, the very first booster they tested right behind the Mars, where it says Gateway to Mars. That is just so cool. Yeah, SpaceX, they launched, uh, I think they said 97 sh ships, 97 flights this year. So cool. Gateway to Mars. Gateway to Mars here at the uh, SpaceX facility, right at the end of the road here next to the beach. Quite a bit of traffic. A bunch of people parked here taking photos. And uh, And there's Starship on a test stand. Come on, focus. And that's the booster on stage zero, launch pad. The chopsticks up there above it. Well, I'm on the um, northern tip of the South Padre Island. That's uh, Gulf of Mexico over there. And if you look, you can just barely see the top of the van parked down on the road. Looking south, SpaceX down there somewhere. Some salt flats and a bay over towards Brownstown. Brownsville? Brownsville. Duh. And, uh, yeah, I'm just out playing in the dunes. Just gonna do a, um, I was looking for some free camping down here on um, South Padre Island. There's a little bit, it's not real good. Um, pretty much the end of the road is about 500 feet north of me here. <laughs> maybe, maybe a thousand feet north of me. And uh, you can park on either side of the road. It's really kind of narrow because the sand kind of comes in on it. But you can overnight here. There's a lot of people have done it. I've seen it on iOverlander and on some other YouTube channels. But it's not much. In the summer, we, you know, when you, you have the beach right outside your door, which is kind of nice. But you do have traffic. You're pretty much parked on the side of the road. So it's not that great. I'll show it to you here in a second, as soon as we get up here to, to the van. So, yeah, it's been kind of fun here on Padre. Got to see SpaceX, which I've been wanting to see for a while. Oh, I see the police. The police are out on the beach. I wonder if they're gonna come by here. Anyways, you can see where I'm parked. Pretty much right on the road. You can see uh, everybody else is kind of parked down there at the end. But there were some narrow areas, and I was looking for a wider spot in the road, which I found up here. So, yeah, this is uh, South Padre Island. Home for a night. Well, we're not going to leave South Padre Island without first uh, taking a look up a lighthouse. That 
that's uh, South Padre Island over there. The causeway out to it. The uh, SpaceX facilities out there on the horizon. for the lighthouse. Yeah, it's been a good trip down here, though uh, I have to say I'm not a huge fan of Padre Island, at least South Padre Island. It's uh, very touristy. Sleeping last night at the uh, end of the road there was now uh, there was a lot of people coming and going, fishermen probably, and I think they like to harass the people sleeping there. A couple horns honking and engines revving as they go by you. So I don't know if I'll come back down this way. The weather's nice and warm. I'm going to be 78 today, but not a big fan. Yeah, there's the van down there. So yeah. South Padre Island. This is as far south in Texas I'm going to go, as you really can go. <laughs> so, going to head west now. I'm going to stay at a state park tonight for a couple days over Christmas. This is Christmas Eve. And then we'll uh, head west towards Port Sight. Let's get on down the road.